Well, come on in. Hi, my students. Did you do the homework? You guys didn't do the homework, did you? Okay, the homework. <laughs> You're supposed to flick the bean. Bleed the lizard, if you will. Wait. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear? Maybe I'm just crazy. I might just be crazy. I could have sworn I heard a knock at the door. Well, well, well. Is 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 that the cotton veil? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> Uh, hey, what, what's up? <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. We just got back from recess. Uh, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. It's so good to see that everybody's being so well behaved. Oh, they are. They are. Actually, they haven't seen what happens oh, if they don't behave. Do like so that? maybe we should mm -hmm. show them later. I think we should. Okay. All right. Oh. If you don't know me, I'm Vexoria the Sun Eater. Yeah, you might know me from fucking your dad, probably fucking your mom, or maybe fucking them both. As we said before, mm -hmm. yeah. we are very, 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 very experienced. However, we are not professionals, quote unquote. So no, take everything we're not. with a grain of salt, literally. Uh, do you have the phone open, darling? Do you have the sheets? I, I sent it to you. I faxed it to you earlier. I, I do have it. Hold yes? on a second. Let me right. just... Lovely. I'll just pull that out. Yes, pull it. Pull it out. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, how do we feel about question number one? We'll literally just be going through the form, uh, and we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing which which form we want to do, like which questions we would like to answer. Here's the question: okay. How can you? That's way too big. <laughs> Going <laughs> off the board. That's the, that's the first. Right. For, Jesus, Cotton. That's the first time I've ever heard you say that's that. That's too big. That's too big. All right. <laughs> How can you make slash teach a girl how to squirt? So as Vex said, uh, usually you just do it. Usually you just do it. Like, it's not one of those things that you're just like, gosh, golly gee, let me take out the manual. Like, <laughs> like you feel like, all right, you twist here, you pull on this knob, bop it, twist it. And then it just happens, you know, it's just, no. What you gotta do, you have to be the most comfortable ever. You have to be very comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to have a lot of um, stimulation on the... Um, yes. <laughs> on the top part, if you... The clitoris, if you will. The clit. You yep. have to. You have to, like, constant, constant, and very, very intense. And that's how it happens. And they also have to be hydrated, obviously. Because if you got nothing mm -hmm. in the tank, nothing's going to come out. What's something you wished you knew before going into your first time? I wish that, uh, I knew that I probably needed oh, more lube. Like I mean, yeah, you're go, go, I'm going slower the, the first time, healthy. too. Because, like, mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I was, you know, I was, I was a young lass and I was very tight. Yeah. So oh, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it was, you know, going slower and, you know, not rushing it, using a lot of foreplay, getting yes. a lot of lube in there. Mm -hmm. Don't just slam it in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you yeah. know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> i had the same issue yeah no genuinely take your time with it and uh mm -hmm. i don't know personally i wish i had chosen a, a time when i was a little bit older because uh i feel like i i just i just got engaged into it a little bit too soon but i mean i think i'm just a sexual person at heart so maybe it was meant to be but that, what advice do you have for first timers things that they can do beforehand to prepare any big myths you want to bust Okay, first one I want to bust. Um, <laughs> um, you can always revoke consent. I don't think this is really talked about a lot, but like if you say mm -hmm. yes, you can say no at any yep. point. If like that's one thing. If it doesn't feel right, then it's all right. Try again later. And if you're with the right person, if you're with a good person, they will understand and um, they will they will take their time. Obviously, like if you're not a piece of shit, you can't get pregnant on your period. Yeah, you can. Why do people you think can. that, like, what the fuck? They're like, no, nah, she's pregnant. Hey, listen. No, no, no. Sperm survives in the female reproductive tract for five days. What? And if you have, if you have, yes, if you have a shorter cycle, guess what? There's a chance yeah. that you can get a girl pregnant. Another big myth, though, mm. too, is it's just people always worry about, like, good sex being just intercourse. Not like, true. just penetrative, just penetrative. It's not no. just that. No, I think I would say, like, you got to get the foreplay in there. You got to uh -huh. get the sensuality. Oh, you know, uh, yeah. It's, it's all mm -hmm. about all those things combined. It's not just, you know, the in and out, in and out. It's not that <laughs> just like <laughs> penetration. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to read it? Yes, please. Okay. How do you prep the back door for activities? I would say you would have to, I'd say 
<laughs> if you're brand new to it, you definitely want to work into it. Oh yeah, it's work uh, in. you want to use a lot of lube. You mm -hmm. want to you know start work with your fingers, start small, mm -hmm. and then work your way up. Because again, if you just shove something in there, that's gonna hurt. It does it's hurt if you don't use enough WD four. Sorry, lube. Uh, <laughs> agreed. Like I had a butt plug in for like a whole four hours before we did anything because mm -hmm. uh, my partner at the time's wiener was way too big uh, for that. Can we just acknowledge that? Yeah, the exit is an exit. That was a really good question. So prepping for backdoor, uh, like we said, lots of lubage, lots of patience. Go yes, slow. Don't rush that. Don't rush don't that. Don't pound no, that no. shit in like a fucking Lego piece. Take your time. You can hurt somebody oh, if you do that. Oh, it hurts so fucking bad. You like, don't want no anal prolapses. Oh, no, you, like that. you don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> okay. What is sex? All the cool kids at school talk about it, but I don't know what it is. And when I Google it, it's just videos of mommy wrestling. We'll talk about this later, sweetheart. We can talk about this later. Okay, if it is your first time having intercourse, how do you stop yourself from feeling self-conscious or concerned about doing a bad job? Okay. I think, have, I think having sexual anxiety is completely normal. Oh, it is. Oh, like it's it is not talked normal. about enough. Genuinely, like it is huge. That is such a huge mm -hmm. thing. Like everybody has it at a time and point. Like everybody mm -hmm. has had it. Genuinely, it's okay. And there's a lot of pressure on specifically those with uh, male genitalia. With a wiener of course. to not arrive too soon there's always there's always so much stress about that like genuinely but here's the thing though mm. i find that if you somebody is genuinely having a anxiety attack or they're upset or they're kind of like nervous about sex i think the best thing you can do is not force it and you oh, can yeah, just be course. naked and you can you can be naked you could just be petting each other mm -hmm. you could just get used to each other in that way you don't actually have to have sex oh yeah no not you at know, all it's just it's making the situation comfortable for everybody exactly <laughs> <laughs> how do we feel about this one do you want to answer it <laughs> do you want to answer that <laughs> <laughs> actually i can yeah let's answer it let's answer it um how can i tell when the climax is real and when i need to put forth more effort to avoid them faking it. Um, <laughs> all right. So when you, how you can tell with male genitalia, obviously. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. obvious. With female, with with uh, you know cooters, it does a little dance. It does a little peristalsis. It does does a little because yeah, the a... vagina is sucking up the the baby juice, if you will. And so mm -hmm. when when you when the female orgasms, it'll do a little and you can feel that if anything's in there. If they it's that little like squeezing yeah sucking. yeah, yeah. yeah I guess. it's like a little twisting mode you know it's fake contractions on your dick yeah. yeah they could do it voluntarily but here's the thing if you're with a partner who feels the need to fake it uh, you need to maybe communicate that with them yeah and they shouldn't be faking that like what the <laughs> fuck i don't know personally like i used to before i like knew that that's not good that that would affect the, no, the other partner right it'll affect the other partner negatively like mentally get good kid no 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 uh -huh. you don't need uh -huh. to do that just just be honest <laughs> how to talk dirty mm. every time i've tried it feels awkward and not sexy Mm. That one, that one, I think just is a lot of practice. And yes. Being comfortable with the person that you're talking mm. with. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was mm. going to say. Just be confident. All right, Sparta. <laughs> okay, buddy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you got to be comfortable <laughs> with the person you're interacting with. Genuinely. Like, it, it is. is always. And I, like, okay, I don't know if this is just me. Probably, I don't know. You've been with your, your partner for a while, but I, I kind of swap partners. Um, with uh, a lot of my partners oh, that I've had recently, um, mm -hmm they don't like talking because they're so nervous and i'm like why don't you talk back to me sweetheart they're like i'm too nervous and you're so good at it and i'm like oh. <laughs> that's cute though but i mean try right yeah literally yeah and it's like i don't know it, it does take a lot of courage to to dirty talk basically if you genuinely want to know um this is gonna sound a bit funny but i'd say watch pornography Find mm -hmm. some things that you get turned on by when whatever the person says, and then copy that. Genuinely copy saying it in your voice over and over and over and over. I once had this one. I, I know this sounds silly. I know this sounds silly, but this is how I started doing NSFW VA work. It genuinely sounds silly, but it does work. Just get more comfortable with it. What's the best position? Hmm? It depends. Oh. Mm hmm. What's the best position, I, Bex? That depends on the person. It does, doesn't it? It depends. Mm. I would say it varies because it's 
it's what are you feeling in that moment? Because sometimes oh, I want to yes. get drilled from behind. And oh, sometimes yes. I just want to ride somebody until their oh, yes. pelvis breaks. Oh, yes. Do you know what oh, I mean? You know what? Okay. <laughs> I tried something. I have never tried this before because uh, the person has been too nervous. Okay. So, okay. Uh, the, the person... Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just going to describe it. I had my head at the edge of the bed, right? Okay. I was, I was doing a little... You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. He bent over onto the bed to grab and start, you know, give me a good time down there. Yeah. He then wraps his arms around my fucking... My, my midsection lifts me in the air so my head is upside down i'm going <laughs> and he's like a, 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 is, oh my god <gasps> prone one's very nice doggy's very like we said it depends on the vibe it also depends it on the equipment so some people have different shaped um you know uh yes. swords if you will some bend to the left some bend down some bend up and so if you want to you know access the nope. nice spot mm. some i like to say some have you know scimitar some have a long sword Ooh, a oh yeah sword, you know you know oh definitely falchion, some you know have what I mean? daggers like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay genuinely uh all right i say this all the time on my stream size and stamina does not matter specifically size no you can work on stamina no. size i don't know dick pumps do they really work maybe for a little like cock rings a little but honestly don't concern yourself with that you know what no, i mean it doesn't i mean sure mm -mm. Maybe bigger might feel better, but some, I, you know, I've been with people that mm. have had the big cocks, but don't know how to fucking use them. Exactly, you know I mean? exactly. Like, like, <laughs> oh my God, right? And it's like, okay, <laughs> exactly. It is the motion of the ocean. It's communication. It's position. It, you have fingers, you have a mouth, you have a body, you have hands. Like there's so many other things you can do. Um, and mm -hmm. I think, I don't know if this person meant to say if you can go a second round. That's impressive. Personally, yes. the people I've been with, it usually takes like two no, minutes. They, and then they're back up. Yeah. Two minutes. It's, yeah. There's a there's a there's a you know a cool down period for guys. Oh yes, right? always. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's why you have hands and you have mouths. No, oh, and, and toys exactly. Kind of yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. What is considered big? Personally, <laughs> I think uh, six inches is big. Considered big. People are always like, oh, six inches is that's the standard. No, actually. <laughs> Your vagina is what like what 12, 13 inches deep at most. So it's about halfway at six. Mm -hmm. So this question says. How do you initiate sex if it feels like the other person has been hinting towards it for multiple weeks? Oh, what do you think? What do you think? I think it's, again, this is a communication question. Yeah, right? genuinely. Mm -hmm. If you are hinting towards sex, it doesn't necessarily the person is consenting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're sex. like, oh, man, I'd love to have tea right now. Just ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just straight up ask. Like uh, Maybe like what I would do, because I know it's it's awkward to just be like, do you want to have sex? It can be awkward. Sometimes it's nice to just be super blunt. It's hot when someone's super blunt. But I understand mm -hmm. it can be... You have to work up to that. The ability to be super blunt. Because, yeah, I've been able to be like, you want to fuck? And people are like, yeah! But if you're just... You know, you're just starting out with this person. I'd suggest... Yeah. Do you kiss them? If you kiss them, maybe start kissing them. I don't know. Start touching them. If, if you are, you know, familiar with touching them, start doing that. And then, you know... Uh, just, yeah. just ask, like, as you're touching them, just being like, hey, um, you want to maybe take this to the bedroom? If you're not in the bedroom, if you are in the bedroom, you're like, hey, um, is this okay? A bit further. Yeah, right? do you want to take this a bit further? Hey, hey. All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, next question, number 32. What is a good way for a man to tell their girlfriend they're interested in having sex? So you're going to scroll up next to her in uh, Minecraft Bed Wars. You're going to say, hey, <laughs> want some fuck? In your experience, do girls get upset if a guy can't finish or finishes too early? I feel I fear either one of these could happen to me, and I fear being judged for it. Okay, so let me be honest with you. If you are with somebody who gets angry at you because you can't finish or you finish too early, I think you're with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because, uh -huh. because that's not... You don't want to be with someone who's going to shame you for not being able to finish or mm -hmm. finish too early. Genuinely. Yep. And uh, like mm -hmm. you said, that you fear that. What, what if you feel bad? Yeah. You shouldn't need to. You should. Um, you should not feel bad. Exactly. If you're, just, if you're aroused and you go for it, I mean, and you feel bad, there's always, you know, other things you could do with your partner, like the mm -hmm. toys, your tongue, your hands. Oh yeah, there's a you're lot. Back up to mind to go again. Oh, genuinely. Right. And uh, again, for me personally, if someone arrives too soon, oh, that's a compliment. 
I'm just like, it, it oh. means that, yeah, you just got to him. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. The other one, like the other way, you can't finish. That's understandable. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. With a lot of things, uh, I, personally, I've had partners that were uh, very much so addicted to uh, like sex and watching pornography alone. And so they they like master touching themselves twice a day. Yeah. And then they get performance mm -hmm. anxiety. Then they feel guilty. Yes, there's crab rave in the background. We're going to switch that right now. <laughs> If your partner can't finish, sometimes you will reflect that on yourself and you'll be like, I know I did when I was like 16. I was 16 and this person couldn't finish. I was like, oh, I'm the worst. Oh, obviously it has something to do with me. Oh, it's me. No, that's not what it is. It is just performance anxiety. There's a lot of different factors, actually. Performance anxiety, uh, getting too used to your own, you know, your own machinery and how you do it. Yeah. And if someone's just new to it, it's just difficult. Mm hmm. Um, mm. why not use the toy and help her finish? Exactly! Exactly! Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. And I guess the bottom line is if someone gets upset for this, uh, you're with the wrong person, as Vex said. Exactly. Yep. Yeah.